that the, this crisis is getting out of hand. Europe needs to understand this, this uh, why this, they are facing this crisis. And they're gonna sell it into the four times higher the price. So it's also one of the core reasons that it's got... Sell it into the four times higher the price. Europe needs to understand this, this uh, why... Welcome to the E-Talk. Um, in this show, we discuss about five E's, environment, earth, energy, economy, and education. Today, I'm joined by a bunch of uh, very good experts. On my right is Azgiye. She is from Turkey, uh, and she is an international relations expert. On my left is Akriti. She is from India, and she is a business analyst. On my far left is Mr. Matthias. He is from Costa Rica and he's also a political analyst. More than a year has passed since the outbreak of Russia-Ukraine conflict. As electricity and gas prices in Europe hit a record high last year, its energy supply crunch and intensified inflation have contributed to a serious deterioration in people's living conditions. And I think it's a very interesting topic today because we're dealing with the European energy crisis. Um, Matthias, I will start it from you. What do you think? Uh, what are the core reasons or the potential reasons for energy crisis in Europe? Well, I think that first of all, we have to put in context what's going on in Europe right now. The Ukraine-Russian situation, one of the biggest factors that is influencing the energy crisis. I think it's important to say that the non planification of energy safety for all the people, it's also one of the core reasons that it's causing this energy crisis. Non um, investing on renewable sources, it's one of the big, fa big factors that, are, that is impacting right now in Europe, and we can see the result now. Very high prices of energy, and the worried people are thinking the living costs are so high right now that we don't know how we can go on in this. How do you see that? Will this uh, energy crisis will further exacerbate in this uh, coming, uh, you know, summer and winter? Uh, I don't think so. In short term, they're not able to solve this energy crisis. Uh, even they try to solve it, like buying some uh, LNPs from USA. Uh, that will cause some economical crisis. There are some discussions about the renewable energy. Uh, they are trying to create it, but the, it's a long shot, you know. Uh, they need long time for this, for doing this. Uh, and now they are using coal, uh, which is also affecting global warming, making the world uh, in the winters uh, colder and also in the uh, summers hotter. So people need more energy and uh, they are using unrenewable uh, energy sources. So that makes problem deeper and deeper. Yeah, I think like it's important to put like a specific cases on this energy crisis. Germany, it's facing right now some consequences on their decisions. For example, the first one is that they shut down the nuclear energy. The nuclear energy, the first um, and the most energy supply for all Germany. So right now, as, the, as they close their nuclear um, energy stations and now they're closing the gas pipelines from Russia, that the, this crisis is getting out of hand. And the, most, the people that are most damaged because of this, it's the German people, the common worker people. Obviously, uh, there is a huge cost which people have to pay because of the different companies they are pulling out. How do you see this? I totally agree with you. Uh, this uh, energy crisis also brings the economic crisis. Uh, we can take the inflation. People are uh, buying goods every single day uh, with high prices. So uh, the workers are asking, asking higher uh, fees, higher salaries, and the companies which are try, trying to keep their uh, profit as they eat, as it is, uh, so they are trying to make prices higher and higher. So the inflation getting worse and worse every single day. Uh, I believe like in uh, 18 countries in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, they are facing worse inflation uh, in the last uh, 30 years. Uh, it's more than 10%, you know. Uh, so 
In the long term, there are solutions which are Europe needs to understand this, this uh, why this, they are facing this crisis. Uh, so they want to solve uh, the economical crisis, they want to solve the uh, energy crisis, they need to solve uh, their political crisis first. Do you personally believe that uh, development of green energy, yes, it's a very positive step, but uh, would it be uh, sufficient enough for the uh, European energy crisis? Personally, I'm from Costa Rica, which is a country that since 2015, um, in the same time with the Paris Agreement, we won a prize as a country because 99% of our energy is from renewable sources. This took us time to develop these energies. So I think that, of course, it's a step in the right direction, as you said, but it would take also a little bit more time. Of course, there are some countries that start spending a little bit more, Green politics specific, specifically can give good solution in a long term. For the longer term, of course, it, it will help Europe uh, to get over from the uh, energy crisis. But for the shorter term, maybe they can find some other way like the energy con conservation or diversification, or maybe they can think for the um, cost of the energy on this. Right now, Europe is working on the clean energy, uh, as he mentioned. And according to the net zero industrial bill and the critical raw material bill, they are supporting Europe for the clean energy. And they have been supporting immensely to get the clean energy as soon as possible in the Europe. We can talk about China. Uh, now they are uh, established new project, uh, five years for five years, they are established a green energy project. And uh, 2030, uh, they are planning to re uh, reach to carbon zero rate. Uh, so they're already spending lots of, lots of money. And also uh, they are doing lots of tons of things in China, in Turkey, in India. Those developing countries are already working on these issues. But Europe during this time, uh, until this affects their country and their people directly, uh, they were just uh, busy with blaming other countries. Now they realize it. It is not uh, late for the, those kind of issues, you know, because uh, any day when they started for this, this is good and benefit for us. There is also one debate which has been going on during this energy crisis. There is one big beneficiary, the United States of America which is selling the LNG to European countries four times higher than it uh, sells to its own consumers. Why do you think so? I think now US is playing very smartly and this is the right time to uh, maybe take the advantages from Europe. Like this is the right time when Europe need the energy and they have it and they're going to sell it into the four times higher the price. And US now is being very smart selling LPGs to the Europe in the higher prices, taking all the advantages, just because maybe they are thinking that it can help them to get their power back by paying their debt and whatever the problems they are in right now. I believe uh, now the world order is changing and the US and the Europe were good allies now, maybe a bit earlier, but in the future, I believe that it's going to be changed because U.S. hegemony also make troubles in uh, Europe too. Now the world is in a state of awe because there are a lot of fears that how this energy crisis can be resolved. That I think this is the time that when the developed world has already uh, got you know uh, development that the developing world which has a very less share, they need to be supported, they need to be uh, funded uh, so that we can go towards an economic friendly world. Thank you.